Hi, welcome to Sumery P. I've got a super exciting new recipe, my orange drizzle cake with oat flour. I challenged myself to make a recipe out of oat flour. I suddenly thought, what if I run out of flour? What will I do? And I had lots of porridge oats, so I grabbed my Nutribullet and decided to whiz up some oats in that, and I made flour. So if you'd like to see how to make my orange drizzle cake, come with me and let's see. So the first step with our cake, we're going to grab our sugar. I've got 170 grams of caster sugar. So we're gonna beat that until it's light and fluffy with some butter. I've got 125 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. So I'll pop that into our stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can do it by hand or you can do it with electric mixer. We'll just pour our sugar in and we'll just let that whisk for a few minutes. So that's really light and fluffy. So now we're gonna add two eggs, but one at a time. We'll just whisk that around. We'll just scrape some of the butter from the side. If you're new to my channel and you like my kind of recipes, please subscribe. It helps support my channel and it shows me that I've got viewers out there that want to see what I'm doing and all you need to do, you just need to hit the subscribe button. So simple. All you need is a Google account. You don't need to pay for it or anything. It's like having a favorite or a bookmark. Okay, next step, we're going to add our orange zest. I've got one orange here and I'm just going to grab my zester. So we'll just zest that. I love kitchen gadgets and this is one of my favorites. Okay, we're gonna slide that into our mixer now. And we've got some orange juice, just one tablespoon of fresh orange juice. Now we're gonna start adding the flour. So I've got 250 grams of freshly ground oat flour. I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. Just to the balance of the flour, I'm just gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder and there's one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. I should have done that before, but I forgot. So we just want to whisk that together. It's just a good way, if you're not using self-raising flour, it's just a good way to ensure all your baking um, rising agents or baking powder is mixed in with your flour. So we'll add a little bit more to our mixer bowl. We don't want to over mix, just combine it slightly. Then I've got some Greek yogurt. I don't eat a lot of yogurt, but I like adding Greek yogurt to cooking because in cakes it makes everything super moist. So I've got 170 grams of Greek yogurt. If you didn't have yogurt on hand, you could use milk, um, but just turn it sour by adding a little bit of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. And then I've got another little secret. I've got a tablespoon of maple syrup. So we'll add that in as well. And that's pretty much it. I'm just mixing it gently on the lowest setting. And then we're gonna pop it into, I've got a small loaf tin, which I've just greased, lined it with baking paper. And I've got my oven preheating on 180. So that's pretty much mixed. And then we bake it for 40 to 50 minutes. Before I take it all out, I'm just gonna make sure it's all, all the flour down the bottom is mixed. And that's looking good. Okay, now we're gonna just pour that into our tin. <laughs> We just want to smooth the top a little. And then we're going to bake this in our oven for 40 minutes. So while our cake is in the oven, we're just going to make the drizzle syrup that goes on top. I've got 50 grams of caster sugar. So I'm going to melt that with three tablespoons of orange juice. And then we're going to brush that on, brush that on the cake when it comes out. It just takes a few minutes for the sugar to melt. Scrub a spoon. So just give it a little bit of a stir. This helps make the cake super moist. And everyone loves a moist cake, especially a citrus cake. Okay, that looks hot enough. This induction cooktop is super quick. So let's just turn that off. We'll just take that off and pop it on a heat plate. The other thing we add to the cake too, for a little bit of extra pizzazz, is a little bit of melted chocolate. So I've just got 40 grams of dark cooking chocolate. And I just drizzle that over the cake once it's cooled. So we'll be back once the cake's cooked. Our cake's out of the oven and it smells delicious. 
So I've got my syrup here. So I'm just gonna brush that on with, I've got a pastry brush. If you don't have that, you can just drizzle it on with a teaspoon. I'm gonna poke some holes in the top of the cake while it's still warm so we can get some of that sugary, juicy syrup into the middle. <laughs> That's all the drizzle sauce on top. And then once it's all cool, we'll come back and put the chocolate on top. Final step on our drizzle cake today, we're going to drizzle the chocolate. So I've just melted some dark chocolate, um, dark cooking chocolate, and I've just melted on top of my crepe pan because I don't have a microwave. So I'm just gonna drizzle it with a spoon, just in lines across the top. <laughs> So there you have it, my chocolate orange drizzle cake. Hope you've enjoyed my video today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you've liked my video today, share it with a friend, hit the like button, the thumbs up, write a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And don't forget, hit the bell, the bell, and then you get notified as soon as I have a new video. I'll see you next time. Bye.